Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, oh. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You Season 2, Episode 1. Now, my guess for this season would have been he just finds a new girl and it's kind of the same thing all over again with him and Beck. At the very end of last episode, Candace showed up. So she's not actually dead, which makes things a lot more interesting actually, because yeah, I totally thought she, she was dead. Like, unless that was a flashback in his head, but I doubt it. Like I, she said, we have unfinished business. So whatever that means, I have no idea why she would want to come back. So that's interesting. So I'm excited to see what happens. So I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Boy meets girl. Boy knows this is something special and he thinks, let me do everything I can to make this right. <laughs> and that's his problem. I won, I won her the old fashioned way. Yeah, that's her problem, dude. You want whatever girl you want Beck to be this perfect image you have in your head. You're trying to fix her. That's not the right thing to do. Like, honestly, I think it's stupid to try and fix somebody because then you're not accepting them for who they really are. You're trying to change them into something you want them to be, and that's not who they are. If they're not who they are, don't be with them. Be with someone else. Like, you know, like. And so I realized this is what I get. Oh, oh. The only fresh start is a start without love. Cut! Oh, what the, what the fuck? Print that, we're gonna go again from the top. Okay. Well, okay, for, I don't think you could just casually walk through a movie set like this. Like they would not let you. Okay, they just, that person just reminded him of Candace. It wasn't actually her. Hmm. Oh, he's in LA. Oh God. So we moved to LA. Did Candace? So did Candace actually come back or not? Like, okay. Like, was that in his head? Like, I, I need to know. If she actually came back, why would he just move to LA? I figured he would stay in New York, do whatever he needs to do to un treat this unfinished business. Addiction management is key. Ten minutes a day. Do not fixate on any one person. Do not get involved. Bro, he's, he's gonna use that telescope to spy on people. In my dreams, Beck's alive. But then I wake up. Are you gonna tell me what you want? I'm craving French fries. Bro, tell us. Hi, what can I get for you? Fries, please, a side of ranch. Hey, first of all, I'm not fucking paying for this lunch. As soon as you tell me, I'm out of here. I want you to know I want it to stay gone a new girl and i walk into the store and there's this book by a woman named guinevere back okay i thought of that actually in the last episode i was like maybe she's back because she didn't you okay that's kind of a reach for candace to see the book and be like oh this must have been joe how would she know oh how would she know that beck is connected to joe i'm gonna oh. tell them everything too easy on you. How would she know by the book that's connected to Joe? I mean, I guess I. I thought that was a reach, so that's why I didn't mention it. But I should have said it. Come on. Are you like, lady? Come on. How many phones does it take? Oh, it's Jenna Ortega. Is protecting her. No, no, she is not. My problem. You have a girlfriend yet? Holy shit! Yeah, I mean, how old are you? Like fourteen. 15. Oh, Jenna's gonna be the new Paco of this season. Our world is done for if we don't think about that. How to be better. I can't believe you just did that. Did impress them? A novel sound like something I want to read. Ever thought about working in a bookstore? <laughs> <laughs> Recommending the perfect book. Can you start tomorrow? Hey, yeah. Perfect. Let's get you an apron. Okay. <laughs> The music. You? No. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna try to figure out who you are, why you look so. Oh my god. <laughs> the slow motion. I won't say hello. I accidentally bump into you. You'll mm. never. Do you think this peach looks like a butt? 
Are you flirting? All peaches look like butts. I should walk away. Yes. Are you following me? Shit. <laughs> oh. You work here? Will, I just started in the cafe. Me too. I, I, uh, I manage the kitchen. Mm. Anyway, sorry. Love. It's my name. I mean. Cool. It's nice to meet you, love. No way. No, Joe, this is not a sign. This is not. This is not a sign. No. 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 Not biting. No. I'm not he, that guy anymore. No, you're going to bite, but you're going to get. No. No. Love, you are not for me. Hmm. What? 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 You think he's dipping? Oh, he got the fuck out of there. <laughs> okay, so he he moved that way to get away from Candace. She's trying to blackmail him. I'm assuming that's what she's gonna do because she, she has all the leverage in the world. So he so he fled. Oh, he came up with a new name. He goes by Will now. So that makes me wonder: Is Joe even his real name? from season one or was that a new alias he made up i wouldn't be shocked <laughs> what do do i have something to... no no she likes you dog i cannot let you in are you running away from me oh shit no i feel like you are he doesn't trust himself but you know i was gonna say no this I'm isn't his, this isn't his head that's in his head this isn't his head there's no way no 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 no, this is in his head. It has to be. <laughs> okay, no, this is definitely in his head. We have about six minutes, which I think we can make that work. I mean, it's LA, actually. I don't know. It's LA. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, that's what I fucking thought. That's what I thought. Bro, what if someone actually catches him just jerking it? <laughs> What's wrong? I don't do this. Not anymore. Okay, what I was trying to say though, before his fantasy. Yeah, see, he's getting a cab, has a little shit, he's going to LA. And then Candace is probably gonna track him down to LA by like end of the season. Or maybe mid season. Hello? You don't think I have your fucking number? <laughs> or turning you in because, best case, you go to prison forever. I'm hanging up. I wouldn't. I'm gonna show you who you really are. It doesn't take a genius to hunt someone if you mm. really, really want to. You see, that's another thing I learned from you. Bye, Joe. Okay. Kind of like, I like it. I like it. Oh, my God. Why? There's no point in destroying your phone, dog. Just take care of your SIM card, if it, you know. <laughs> There's no way. I won't let Candace get in my head. Oh, why are you recording him? It's just for fun. Not a good liar. There's no way Candace has a recording, Joe. There's no way. Oh. Okay. Movie for school. Right after I fix another thing I've got to fix first. Fuck, I'm starting to be... <laughs> if LA is hell, surely the Hollywood DMV is the ninth circle. Oh, God. That... That sounds like a nightmare. Is everything okay? So assistant. Wow, she, she actually seems really nice for working at the DMV. This. I know that voice. Mm, oh, it's love. What? are the chances back with mm -hmm. oh you got this here whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. oh you got her new phone since it's my fault you damn she got to that shit fast oh this is actually an iphone 7 and i had an iphone 9 <laughs> like i'm just gonna say some shit like that oh okay cool you're welcome i was trying to do this whole verite thing what's all you got to say Oh my god, this bitch's feet is so fake. Mm. Watch it be love. Your brand could be like... Books. You have good taste in whatever. You talk about books. You fascinating, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's how you get it to fall in love with you. Dude, no, he's gonna get obsessed. Yeah, people people fall in love with him. He's gonna get... He, dude, he's gonna turn the homelander. <laughs> the other reason to post is revenge. Mmm... -hmm. Revenge post. That's horrible. Get out before Candace finds me. Well, dog, this is gonna give away to Candace where you are. Like she, I mean, you have a different name, but still, it's like you never know. Like Candace could still find this. Like if there's a picture of you, she'll know. 
but she, he's going to post the books, obviously. But what if love tags him in a post and she finds it somehow? Like she goes to the location of all the bookstores. And how would she know he's in L.A.? I don't know. But she just maybe have guessed, oh, maybe he went to L.A. Check the tag location of all the bookstores. See if he's tagged in the post by his co-workers or not even tagged. Just he's in the photo. I was afraid you would. Hmm. I went to get sunscreen. This is Joe. It's nice here, right? You should come here every uh, Okay, this is why he went to LA. Yeah. You are home. Yeah. Sure, we're home. No, I mean, my home is you. Aww. His mom took him to LA when he was super young. His home was his mom. You know, it's a connection to her, so that's why he came here. Mommy will be back in just a few shakes. No, I would not leave my fucking kid alone at in. No. No. Hell no. This is a bad parenting, I think. What's she gonna go do? She, like... I don't know, she seemed really timid to get out of there. Like, she has to go do what she has to do. Is she, like, a drug addict? Or is she gonna... Go, I don't know. Oh, he's some... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yep, fell asleep and then got some... Married. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, well, guess what? Now you can't talk to her. Just be cool. Just be friends. That's all you gotta be. It's actually, she just saved her life right there. I'm serious, though. Okay, okay. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. She is married, but there is a chance she hasn't updated it to divorced. I'm sure she would, though, so. We're going. We're going. As many places as we need to to convert you. Come on. We have more work to do. Come on, let's go. Come on. You know who she reminds me of? She reminds me of Dexter's sister. Not exactly, but like very similar. That's why I like her character already. Tell us that you could tell everything about a cook based on their roast chicken. So I became a bit obsessive. Hmm, obsessive. Something tells me she's gonna be a little bit like Joe. It's everything I like, made exquisitely, but what's perfect is you made it for me. You were tough. Mm. I have to tell you something and I'm married the uh, community garden that we walked by I got married there mm. three years ago I just knew I'm sorry if I sent the wrong signal no I he's dead oh oh he got sick they tried to figure it out damn but they did not well I'm I'm very sorry for your loss I've been able to see this thing and people We've been through it. I see that every time I look in your eyes. Damn. <laughs> you felt it. Yeah, the death of a loved one. So. Real love, real loss. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's two very different, very different reasons why. <laughs> what? Sister? Oh, what? shut up, Dad. <laughs> She's right inside. I just have insomnia. Same. From it's actually 1.45 in the morning right now. <laughs> I don't know actually, but like I just have horrible sleep habits. Oh, whoa, someone came by looking for you. Mm. Old friend? Oh, who, who the fuck is Jasper, he said that- Okay. Oh, this is a, this is a PI. This... Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Honestly, he seemed a little creepy. Yeah, this is not just friend, this is a PI. Has to be. Hmm. Why does he go in the storage units? What does he have in here? What the f What does he have? Oh my god, he fucking brought it! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who is Jasper? Wait. Why is he looking for you? Who the fuck is this? How are we gonna take care of this problem? What? So, here's the thing. <laughs> Wait, what? And then, I saw you. All right. They maybe all led me here. Oh my God, was Jas <laughs> Jasper was already a dude she was talking to? Crime and punishment? Look, dude, mm. find a way to move these or uh, something. Okay, so that's why, okay, okay. So I brought the book so you knew you get the job, okay. It's a vacancy on the first floor. I like the second floor. Mmm. Jesus fucking Christ. When it's right, you start to feel everything aligning. Like 
fate <laughs> saying yes to you. You win, love. I'll stay. Jesus Christ, Joe. Like, okay. Yeah, I guess how silly of me to assume that was him genuinely running into a girl. Oh my God. Like he did with Beck. The first, in their first interaction was genuine. He didn't. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay, so Jasper is looking for that dude in the cage. And that dude's name is Will. Joe called him Will. He's like, why, why is Jasper looking for you, Will? So, why would Joe copy his name then? Like, what? Oh, to get new alias for Can- To avoid Candace, but like, why would he take the same name? Whatever. Um, and then he already saw- He already noticed love when he was passing through the movie set. And he was like, okay. And then he followed her to see where- she worked or whatever and then he manipulated his way into a job and he could naturally introduce himself to her like okay bro this will he's even crazier now <laughs> like I, he didn't do that with beck like when beck came into the bookstore that's when he met her like he didn't know who she was and like he didn't manipulate meeting her okay like what the fuck okay but it didn't explain why joe has will in the cage at all it showed like a brief shot of uh, love talking to someone and like you saw like the back half of their head or whatever a little bit and it looked like that dude will so maybe like she was talking to him and they were flirting or something and that made joe jealous and so he kidnapped his ass i don't know to take him out of the picture for love that's so fucking crazy that's fucking crazy like jesus this is crazier. This is crazier than season one already. And then he got his apartment on the second floor intentionally in the area and the second floor intentionally so he could spy on love with a telescope. Like, God damn it, dude. God. <laughs> I feel like this is already crazier than season one. Like, I know he stalked back, but like, he at least met her first. You know, then, I don't know, like, what? He decided to put in all this effort for love before even meeting her. Like, what? I don't know. And at the same time, he's avoiding Candace. Like, he's trying to escape Candace. So, okay. Like, I know he had that talk with Candace in the cafe or whatever while, while they're getting lunch, while they're getting lunch, but she still never said, like, what exactly happened. She just said, like, you left me there. So, what, he just, like, abandoned her or something? I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. I just edited this video. I still think Candace is dead. She is 100% dead, okay? These flashbacks of, of them in the cafe, it's all in his head. She's not there. It's his guilt coming back up to him to haunt him. In the cafe, she said, you sure thought I was dead or you would have just left me there, right? He definitely killed her. And now she's coming back because he feels guilty for it because it happened again with Beck. So Candace is coming back to haunt him. She's not literally there to chase him or anything. How would she know? She sees the book of Beck and she's like, oh, this is connected to Joe. There's no way she would know. There is no way. She would automatically assume it's Joe. But because Joe feels guilty for killing Beck, that's why Candace is showing up again in his head. They're showing Joe talking to Candace as a flashback scene, not as an actual scene that happened. So, you know, in these flashbacks, we don't always get the full truth of what's happening, okay? <laughs> like with love, <laughs> Joe likes to cut things out, okay? So I think she's coming back in his head. She's still in his head. He killed her. I don't think there's any way Candace could see Beck's book of wherever she is and th automatically think, oh, this was Joe. Joe killed this girl. There is absolutely no way. She could connect that all the way to Joe. And Candace, now she wants to torment Joe. She wants him to, she wants to make Joe suffer. I think this is Joe's guilt coming out for killing Beck and everything, because he did it again. You know, this is his second girl he's killed. And so now it's his guilt slowly killing him. But anyways, that was you, season two, episode one. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.